You can set up data quality rules in your ETL pipelines to prevent bad data from entering your data lakes or data warehouses. I'm going to show you how to set up data quality rules in your data pipelines in Glue Studio. To get started, create a new Glue Studio visual job, select the data source of your choice. Here, I'm going to select a table which I have already cataloged from the customer data in S3 bucket. Add the data quality transform by clicking on action and selecting this transform. The first rule I'll be adding is row count rule from the out of the box rules. This is to make sure that my data set is not empty. Next, I'm going to add is complete rule for the column first name to ensure that every row has values for this column. We now have two rules. Let's make sure to fail this job when the data quality rules fail by selecting this option. I'll also select the option to publish results to CloudWatch so that I can set up alerts when the rules fail. I also want to query and build dashboards to analyze data quality results, so I'm going to provide an S3 location to capture historical data quality results. Let's now execute this job. Notice that the execution is successful and the data quality score is 100%. Now I'm going to add another data quality rule which is SQL rule to ensure that no row exists without a telephone or email value. Please note that I have deleted some values for the columns telephone and email in the data set. So when we run the data quality check, the task would eventually fail. Remember that we have set up a rule that will prevent the job from executing when the data quality rules fail. Let's now execute this job again. Notice that the job failed as one of the data quality rules failed. Let's go to CloudWatch and explore the metrics. You can see that Glue publishes number of metrics as successful and failed, which allows you to set up alarms so that your data stewards are aware when bad quality data corrupts your pipeline. In addition, I can easily query the data quality results in Athena. For this, I have built a table in AWS Glue Data Catalog by crawling the log files in S3 that were written by Glue Data Quality Task and then running SQL-like queries in Athena for further analysis. I can also build dashboards using QuickSight to analyze the trends of the quality of data. Finally, Glue Data Quality can be used in Glue Interactive Sessions in code and can also be invoked using APIs. Check out the documentation for more details.